Right, all right, all right. Trying to hold it together. So, still on the broad topic of relationships, uh, and we're looking into feminism. Still on it. Uh, I like it less and less now. <laughs> Maybe you guys feel differently. I don't know. Uh, it's a topic that I I don't really like, but maybe maybe I don't like it because I'm the we, I'm the male discussing this, and maybe I'm for for once want some pushback on what I say, but maybe that's just me. Who knows? But um. So that's what we're talking about feminism as it relates to women, how, how it was founded, how it's been skewed, how it's been used against men to some extent, or used by women uh, against men. So this week, we're going to look at the male perspective. Yet again, we didn't try to get a few more people on panel, but... We, we, we really didn't. Yeah, we didn't. We, did, we didn't get anyone, so... Ah. Let's go put this out there, people. We are humans. We do go through our own personal struggles. So, it's been an off week for some of us. It has been. All right, so... Without further ado, how does feminism make you feel as a man, as a man, gentlemen? As Can if, anyone go first? Or yes, I, 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 for I, all. because I'm not uh, for once. I won't be a complete, um, you know. Answer. All right, I'm going to try and be as. As, as balanced in my responses tonight as possible. I am trying my best to not go over the hinge because this is for many men, especially those who are educated and you know, no, 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 follow the hype. <laughs> Feminism has done more hurt than good for men and women relations. And forgive me if I sound, you know, droll for some, but in any agreement or any relationship where as a man, I am not supposed to be heard. I'm supposed to just be seen. I don't see how that helps man and woman relations in any way i mean to break the man down to make the woman feel empowered isn't that counterproductive i mean you say you want equality for all but <clears throat> almost every time i've listened to any you know international talk shows international programming I'm not even talking about the U.S. where I'm at. I'm talking about, I'm trying to be as unbiased with my responses. Australia, England, Canada. When they describe feminism, it's nothing of equality. It's all about dominance, contempt, disgust, hatred. And I know some people will push back and say, Oh, I'm only pointing out the negative parts about it. I mean, as a man, as human beings, we intend to notice the negatives first before we see the positives. True. And if if the if the negatives are are being broadcast first, the message what is being told to, to young ladies is asinine as far as I'm concerned. So you're telling me 
I had to get up. I had to, just like everybody else, and this goes for man and woman, I'm taking nothing away from women who understand what it means to put your head down to the grind and work for what you want. I've met plenty of sisters, plenty of, of other women of other ethnicity who, when they talk about their stories of how they want to work for them, achieve, you almost let them want them laugh about it. I've never heard of a society, a woman crying that life isn't fair, but you want to dominate in a man's field. It doesn't make sense. I spoke to a young, a young girl, 12 years old, born genius, gentlemen. I think I mentioned this. Um, we we were yeah. quoting, we were quoting um, you know, um the Greeks, the Romans, mm -hmm. um, mythology. This young lady blew my mind. 12 years old, born genius, African parents. She's born in the States. Again, awesome kid. We hit one, one thing that, I mean, we had a great conversation. You know, she was matching me. Intellect, intellect. again, I, I, I enjoyed the conversation. I think we both enjoyed it until we hit on engineering. Mm -hmm. So the age old question that, again, Yo, seriously, Kevin Samuels, where are you, Tabasi? I'm just saying, my will draw for you for one more, for that one analogy. Every single week, though. I know, right? I really know why this man be strike me. But, but uh, yo, Basi, it's not about love. If if you if your name, if your ear say, you know them them nobody's here. I use of your name. No offense, my brother. It's just let me not use this one analogy. To try to explain to this young lady that no matter what she's being told, it's all anecdotal evidence because she's trying to convince me that women are taking over or now dominating in the field of engineering. I'm like, no, they're not. She's like, yes, they're. Jadard, do you understand the feature? Of <laughs> I really didn't want to go this far, but she, she understood it. So I said, do you understand the feature of principle? You know, eighty percent of um eighty percent of people want twenty uh, twenty percent or whatever. Mister, well, look at it this way: eighty percent of societies, everything is run by men. Twenty percent. That's just the other men them other men to take over for the eighty when we need to circle them out. Guess how much percent of women actually are in engineering? To the to the to the numbers that it would take to run, and and I said I said I'm not going to go as far as saying like engineering plant, you know, a nuclear plant. I, I tried something simple for her, and she couldn't give me the simple numbers it would take to run it. And I'm like, I'm sorry, don't take it the wrong way. I'm not saying women aren't making great strides in the fields of engineering and science and all those things. But the numbers don't add up. And then this is what she said. This is what she said. Maybe they should make it fair for... I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. what? No, 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 make you don't. Home. No, you don't. No, she's trying to say that um, the men need to make engineering somewhat easier or more friendly for girls to want. And I'm like, no, no, you don't. No, you don't. So what? They should you use pink, pink markers to write notes or something. So, so, so I had, I had, I had to level her out. I, I'm like, look at it this way. Everyone I've known who's ever entered the field of engineering, we've never had a story when we hear the man them say, "Well, you know, say it was fun just getting up on the." No, everybody's. Mafia work hard. Mafia do this. Mafia open the sun. Mafia do this. Mafia test samples. We in the lab for hours. Just to make sure. You understand me, I try to say? I'm, I, I'm writing reports. You understand me? I'm, I'm doing wire runs. Wire runs. Putting my piece in um the blueprint that the, the architect. You understand me, I try to say? Engineering isn't easy. Men acknowledge that it's, 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 hella, it's hella hard. It's hella hard, but what? We like this stuff. But if you're telling me that we have to bend the rules, it doesn't bend already, you know, because there are more programs in the U.S. helping towards women joining STEM. There, there are no commercials. And, and I know people will debate and say, oh, well, well, men have been doing this for, for so long. I mean, the woman, 
He said, yeah, but you need to understand there is no, no incentive for boys in 2021 to go into the fields of engineering. There's no push from the government. There's no push from social media for boys to, to, to learn or come sure. back into engineering. It's all a woman push. It's all a woman push. No offense, I'm just saying. If you're going to talk balance, you have to talk it the right way. You can't have it say, oh, you're trying to even out, you know, the thing and it's set on fear. Well, I mean, if she, since you're in America, wouldn't it also make sense for her to mention a job like uh, stonemasons, like less than 10% are women? Why wouldn't hold you on, complain about that? Hold on, hold on. I, I went there, my friend. I went there. I'm like, so let me ask you a question. I mean, would, would, no, I, no, no, no. Just, no. I mean, just being sarcastic, too, because she just no, don't understand. I, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Like I said, this young lady's intellect could match mine. So I realized using too many big words won't get the message across. So I had to dumb it down for her. I was like, let me ask you a question. Do you know how the roads are made? No? It's an engineering job too. You know that, right? I mean, there, there's an engineer there. I said, would you want to be the engineer in charge of making sure miles and miles of road are done correctly? Where you'll have to be out in the hot sun doing all of this, you know, marking and taking down notes and so forth, so forth. She's like, ah. And I'm like, exactly. But that you went, ah. That's it. Guys, boys, we are used to being up and in, you know, hard and harsh conditions. We, we, are, we are genetically wired to take on the harder jobs. This is and, and this is from DNA people. I'm not making this up. Years and years of evolution. Man. This is pro, this is facts. I'm spitting. I'm not making this up. Women tend to go for the softer jobs, the less strenuous work, the one the mother cost them the most pain. It's been that way from 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 man know himself, and it will That's never true. be that. I'm sorry. I have a so, sister who is an engineer and I mean she's okay with being out in the sun because she just likes to come out of the office at times. But as for her female co-workers, they weren't fond of it. So uh, there's uh, hold on, there, there's a there's a certificate program up here. I, I may be calling it wrong, but I think it's called a line, a linesman for the railway. Well, my, again, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's a hella good paying gig. Almost six, I think almost six figures. High, high, um, high five because you're out, you're out in the sun, and you're 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 helping the the railway car them align themselves because for them train up here, gentlemen, and on a little, uh, you know, like a, a, a seven or eight carts, you know, so you have train, you have train along as a miles long train. Yeah, we know. Yeah, I'm just saying, for those who didn't know, train up here different, but we're talking about a high, a good paying job, right? Very good mm -hmm. paying job. A friend of mine's sister said she just finished high school and she doesn't feel like she won't go to university. So me and him was talking, shooting, you know, job, and I was like, what about the line job? You say you don't, you don't, you don't want them to hustle him. All you're going to do is you'll have to step out into the sun for a few minutes just to make sure, say, the cart or, or the rail, wheel, um, something is in a line. She's like, I have to be in the sun? I'm like, but you're only going to be standing in it for a few minutes. And that was enough for us to change our mind from it. I was like, wow. Again, you can say, people can say anything no more. And this, and this is not even a light-skinned girl. You understand me? She's on my complexion. And just to be standing in the sun for a few minutes was too much for her. High 18 year, 90 something figure job a year. And that was too much for her. So to those who feel like I'm just, I just like to talk, 
biology proved my point, but I digress, I guess, you know. Biology yeah, literally true. always wins. Well, I'm, uh, I'm not talking anything that can be factually backed. There's nothing I'm saying that, that can be factually proven. I, I rather dwell in, in the realm of facts than in the realm of fiction. I'm just saying. Me aware of what's going on. Yeah. So, Doc, what about you? Uh, well, for me, to be honest, here's a thing I find flabbergasting sometimes. It's not even the fact that they have these unreal expectations. It's not their ridiculous notions half the time where they say, they want this, but yet they don't see the repercussions until it actually happens and then they suppose some other nonsense. It's the arrogance and entitlement for me. Because as I mentioned to Bradshaw recently, I was going across these um, statuses on Instagram. And I had to double back to see this girl, girl specific status. Oh, oh she said, ah, uh, the fuck you mean of course I'm the prize and I was like how exactly like what do you win like I don't know if people I, this is, might be a bit controversial but like I wonder if people really say the less likely a father is out of anybody's rela relationship be it the wife the wife or the, the, the woman or kicking out of the house the children you ever notice say you oh, always the father hold the family together in that sense? On like I was really looking at it, and every single time a child goes through some trauma here, about how because I didn't have my father in my life, or my father never do this. It, you never hear them say your oh, mommy no do this or the mommy no do that because apparently mommy can't mash ants. No disrespect to the mothers and single mothers out there. You do a wonderful job. But I'm just saying, the burden that is placed on fathers to be everything under the sun, protector, guidance, go as far as to be church man, y'all, if you don't believe in a God. But the sense of entitlement, the arrogance, it is disgusting sometimes to see and it's not even, like say, a, it's random females. Some of them are people who are me and you know, Dario. And they believe it. And it just, it is, plus, it blows my mind to see some of them. The same set of people and what do so, such and such things. They see them boil themselves into feminism. Like, I just don't get it. Where do they fall off thinking that they're owed anything, especially a good man with their track records? All right, maybe we call it speed as speed. Say they even get the good man that they also desired, right? No, who's that they deserve. Who's to say they can keep them, keep him? Or better yet, who's to say if they get a high value man? Who's to say they can even keep him? What exactly do they have that is going to keep the high value man? I hear this question asked time and time again. And there's no answer. Because they weren't taught how to keep a man to begin with. That is yeah. something most people don't understand. Sorry about that, Rajiv. I'm just saying. I'm just adding to your point. Most yeah. of them don't know, say, it's not somebody that just get the man and I eat that. You have to know if you impress the man and keep the game up. And a lie, most people tend to forget that. It's, 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 a, it's a forever, it's a forever um, gist and you can't just, because you feel like it, you get us. Let me summarize uh, the point when you finish. Yeah, you know, it makes no sense. And there's nobody under God being there going to tolerate them foolish to say. Okay, so... You finish? Pretty much. 
All right, so what Doc and Bradshaw are saying in a nutshell, just because a man wants to sleep with you tonight doesn't mean he wants to wake up next to you tomorrow morning. Uh, him being attracted to you and liking you are totally different things. You put it that close, though, tomorrow no, morning? No, as in being attracted to you just means that you're appealing. Right, no. For me, for me, I mean, I mean like uh, you know, dark morning, skin, you know, to save the thick body. Morning, night. Repeat. No, I say you, you put here tomorrow morning. You look at say man, you know, screechy draw out of back of window out of him at night. And no, but that's the thing. He expects you to sneak out while he's asleep and just never have gone. If you even wake up and see him, then I'm on him. I mean, again, you can just have a pretty face or a, a sexy body. And you, I'm attracted to you. You, you now have my attention. Physically, but that's all you'll get. Physically, yeah, because we're physical, we're physical beings, that's how men are. You but have a good, men, you have a good looking body, a good looking men. face, automatically, you will turn heads. That's men it. are visual creatures, and this has, and I, and I, we've been saying that from day one. Every woman who have them head on them body, every woman who know the nature of man, yeah, man. every woman. No, said men, more, more the more mature women, they know this. This is nothing new. This is nothing new. And, and it's weird because I've met so many women when they hear like what's going on in the media, them laugh. The older women them end up laughing because it was like, wow, can't believe, believe these young women acting like they're the prize. When I heard, I was like, what? It's like, I don't yeah, like to be a prize that means I'm gaining something. Of Yo, value. Uh, gent gentlemen, I won't lie. I won't lie. When I when I used to see that um a couple years back, I used to think the same thing that they were the prize, but then you know what me hold I on, so hold uh, on, so hold on. Uh, I, I learned so, my worth. So this so this so this grown woman, right? Mm -hmm. Woman in our parties, right? She yeah. was like, Andre, let me tell you something, right? Most women don't understand it's the man coming home was the prize. Most women never understood that. Um, young women don't understand that because men are, are loyal to who they truly love. Someone don't love you. Look, look to the pillow beside you. That's your answer. That's the part that most young women were not told because they've been hit on this euphoric God will send him for you. And it means that, wait a minute. But if God even did send him for you, do you know how to keep him? And it always come back down to that. Apart from sex, what else do you got? Mm -hmm. and, the, and I know it sounds weird, but it's the truth. Men aren't just objects. We actually have feelings. We like stuff too. Who would have thought? You know, we're, we're, we're not just man, uh, we come again. We're, just, we're not just sex beings as society paint over me. We're not, believe it or not. Uh, gentlemen, mm -hmm. have, you ever, have you ever noticed that, I don't know if, if it's just me, but I used to notice like from high school going up, you ever notice when women list out their expectations it's like a long list going all the way to far, far, far away. See, the list can never end. But if you ask a guy, even if he doesn't know what he wants, the first thing he's going to say is, all right, for some of them, you might have the superficial ones. I go say, you know, want a girl with a tick like a dumpling and blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. However, underneath all that nonsense, the man goes say, Yo, you know, it's a different still want a woman or respect me. Yes, that's all most yeah, like men. men are, so the men's expectations are usually universal, and if he Very goes simple. like five words long, that's a lot too. for a man. On average, that's, Yo, a, that's a huge number for a man. Where the man we confused, right? And it, it's funny because when when Kevin Samuel said again, sorry, OG, I'm just saying, when Kevin Samuel <laughs> said he complete asshole. He, who the hell is him to talk on behalf of men? Um, a man. 
Hey man, I mean, it couldn't be more logical than that. No, 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 Why Roger. It's not even that. Oh, man, it's they it's want a not. certified hey, man. man. No. Can I make a sense? No, hold on. Oh, my God. God. So hold on. No, hold on. Pass here a second. Black, white, shiny. I bet, I bet my bottom dollar. If you think, if you think he's that full of shit, ask any one of the other ethnic groups. What, name the three things you want out of a woman. And I bet somewhere in all of that, you're going to hear law, either respect, loyal, which to me is the same thing. Depends, you know, there's a yeah. fancy word to say, but it's the same thing. So I guarantee you're going to hear some form of respect, loyal, they're Peace. all universal. Peace, respect, <laughs> honor. And, and, and I know that the last one, Again, believe it or not, it's just said in the vows. So if you're not going to take offense to this word, don't get married because it's in there. Obey. You are to obey. And it goes both ways. So nobody don't shoot me. Please, I'm begging. It goes both ways. Believe it or not. It does. Anyway, it does. It's just a society. Yes, sir. Don't know that word. They might go learn. They might, yeah, yes, they go learn hold on, hold on. They might learn hold today. On. Learn what? You know, learn today. Some people, some people, some people love them more, you know. They don't want learn to learn nothing, you know. Yes. Even if it means happiness, they don't want it. So they talk about learn. Good. Yes, hold yeah. on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Here's my thing, Zine. All right. I'm not going to call this name again. He who must not be named. <laughs> Let us just put it at that, Zine. When he speaks... Apparently, he is Voldemort, right? So, I want to know something. When the other men speak and no one listens to us, they want to listen to a man's problems from a female perspective. Are, you, are they that daft? And I think this is the reality where I reach some of them now. That, well, most, it, it's a bit a domino effect. But them realizing that so all of them women who are talking on behalf of men, they don't know men. That's a reality. And women will say, oh, this, oh, that. I'm like, um, you weren't born a male. I, it, it's just, it, it's just the equivalent. I can't, I, I can no more tell you how to be a female. Who would have thought? I, I can't tell you how to be a woman. You know, on so many levels and on so many grounds, I, I, I'm out of my, out of my, my, become again, my name. You have to dare say that to you. But how you all look for me and tell me how it's like to be a male? Make that make sense. Okay. Make one, that who, who one, knows, sense. one single thing you're preventing from even understand men. One single thing. Is not when I think about that word other stuff. One single mm. thing I prevent it from. I think me, me, me think it too, I don't know what me at that word. No, I'm gonna know. Tell me now. Oh I, I, all right. So right, Please, right, like me. All right. So uh, you, you alluded to it um last night, Bradshaw. All right. So when we are going through our puberty stage, right? and for some of us who were unfortunate to be going to an all boys school, Zin, mm. you know, you have those random days where you just, you're not even honey, it just happens, and you have it's a called erection. puberty, my man. Yes. Let's use the right word puberty. Yeah, essentially. You can yeah. say it, you can say it. You can say it. Oh, I'm just saying, you can't say it. Oh, true, when it's, 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 it's taboo, it's yet. In a phone ride. Continue. I, I don't know if, if it's taboo yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Continue. But, like, when that happens to guys, especially when they're just 14 years old, right? You can just imagine the confusion and the utter terrified. They're terrified, most of them. At least, for me, at least. There's no manual, there's no book manual for say, yo, this is what you do. 
to handle the situation. And brother man, if you get up out of your seat, you get fucked. If you stay there, you get fucked. So what, what exactly are they supposed to do? But yes, still, women have the gall to look at us and, and try to tell us we must control ourselves. We must avoid the temptation because you're men. You must do all these things because you're Goliath sent from God. Who are you? Who, who Hello. are you, women? Hello. Like, like, like... Hello. Hello. I would say I would say I would say to any woman who dares bring up God and the church, I'm like, um, have you not seen that the pastor himself can't resist the flesh? Who am I? If a man of God can't say no to uh, what, what's in front of him. So, again, make it make sense. These are the kind of questions nobody wants to answer because what? It make it, it make you really have to think. Because if the man of God, a man who's anointed by the Father, can't resist, you know, the flesh. Who are you? I'm oh also saying that might be controversial. Are, Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead, I want to hear it. I'm going to say something that's going to be controversial, but mm -hmm. when I get into it today, even oh, God has his limit. Oh, even God oh, has his <laughs> limits. If God didn't have his limits, he wouldn't have made hell. I'm mm -hmm. going to leave it at that. Alana, you see now I'm confused, okay? It's a guy strike down a man for, for, for not coming in with a JJ. Because yeah. I, so that's it. That's it. Oh, that's it. Eh? That's it. 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 No, so there's a scripture in the New Testament where a man didn't come in his brother's wife to procreate in honor of his of his brother's death. So he, his brother can have a son. So and God was on. upset and struck the man down with death because he dishonored so, his brother. So why may I float then? Again. Again, no, oh, well, and look on it this way, Rasta. The problem is this the man's conscience got in the way. That was a problem. He cared about his dead brother's memory, and As it just never feel drunk. right. Well, Anna, well, Anna, it not feel right to him. Again, God gave him free choice, he exercised said free choice and got executed. That's all I'm saying. But he had a chance. I mean, I say, I mean, I do it wrong. We don't want to get too biblical, guys. Yo, I love the youth here. But I mean, it could, have been, it could have been overlooked. I mean, if God can overlook 400 years of slavery. Make me not go there. Oh, yeah. Anyway, anyway. Make me not go there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not tonight. There. So moving right along. Yeah. Yes. 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 So, how does feminism make you feel as a black man? <laughs> Who wants to go first? Me. All right. <laughs> how about it? So, for some reason, apparently. Only black men are dogs. Only black men do wrong. Because apparently when one man does wrong, especially when one black man, black man is a dog, we are all dogs. I've never gotten that narrative before. I really haven't, and I still to this day, even when I, and I really don't want to bring this up, but in the case of when females get raped in Jamaica, see all of a sudden, no, all of your female contact are running on your phone, but you know all of your bridging them are doing too. Bitch, huh? You know, sir, I'm just saying, I'm a girl that's a black card, though. 
Like, okay. like, all right. So let me, me get this straight. Zine. So let's use the woman who went at thief for the bag of money who worked for NCB. Zine. She is going to get away with literal robbery, you know, because she's a woman. But I kid you not, if a man was put in that same position, especially a black man, we would hear that he needed to be executed because he's stealing money from all the students that could be using it and the poor people in Jamaica. But because she is a woman, because she up front and she looks semi-decent, she don't look like a Leland truck. She's going to get away from the wall. And also being it as a culture and genetics, it's just nature for for feel sorry for the weaker or the sexes. Mm. No matter how we try, if, no, it, it's written now. Be it's written now. Be in our biology. If a little boy falls, when I'm him to get up and brush it off, come on, you. We we'll make your daughter drop. Drop oh everything. Is that would be a bit. It's only nature. Right. And, and, right. and, and, and in a way, right. no. if we're not talking right. about you, we know what's your dream. Well on, well on, sir. Well on. Sir, you are on. Well on, sir. Well on, Raji. My daughter is younger right. and she dropped. Let's take her off. She's younger. Yes. She dropped now. She had two years ago. When she dropped, I'm going to say, she's not get a good job or a hot job. Mm-hmm. So I get up. Yeah, all right, you said, yeah. All right. So I'm what I was trying to, to say, sir, well, I know, I, I, I hear you, daddy, I hear you. I, <laughs> me, I try to make this. You are anecdotal. That's the point me, I try to make. Your case is anecdotal. We're talking about majority of men worldwide. Make your daughter drop. Oh, my God. You understand me? I'm, I was speaking on the broader spectrum, fam. You know, sir, we, we are yard, man. What thing different? You understand me? But the point me I try to make me talk to everybody else. As men, biologically, we, we, we take pity upon the weaker of the sexes, our women. Just saying that, because, you know, and for those women who listen to this podcast and like this podcast, we love y'all. Don't make nobody tell you anything. And don't make nobody tell you anything else. If All right, look at it this way. How someone, how they can tell if someone truly loves you? How often do they talk to you about something that, that you can't bother to hear them talk about? But they keep hearing it over and over again. Most people don't understand you know. If someone truly loves you, they're the ones who annoy you. You see, if they don't love you, you'll never hear a word of it. Until the day they walk away when you mash up yourself. Just saying. That's how you know if someone really loves you. Put in the effort to try and educate you. But you're going down the wrong path. This is nothing yes. negative being said, ladies. Yes, we might make fun of it or make joke about certain parts of it, but at the end of the day, and I will repeat this because I've said it before on this podcast and I'll say it again. I want everybody happy. Both men and women, I want the black race to flourish. Quite frankly, I want mankind to flourish. But this new way of thinking is detrimental. Feminism has poisoned something that's supposed to be natural into something financial. And most people don't want to look upon that, but I remember the day when a poem, a letter, you used to, you used to write love letters. And just the fact that, that when she get it, Oh my I'm God! Right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, man, she would melt from the inside out. We said this man spent so much time and effort to formulate the words. Them so nostalgia. Nice. You understand me, fam? I talk about a time when man used to carry him girl books. All right, well, Jamaican man carry our bag, our bus stop. Back then, that used to mean that used to be chivalry. Nowadays, you're a punk for do that. What the hell? You're a punk for being a man. Masculinity. Are you fu- mm. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you the world reach? Yep. Doing, doing, doing things that used to make you be seen as a dominant, if not dominant, an assertive, 
well-balanced, level-headed man that knows what he wants. It's ridiculous. Is that if it doesn't man them out here I find a problem with it? The women have a problem with it as well. Most of them. If I had to put it at a percentage, I'd say 97% of Jamaican women. If a man come up to them and sing a poem or sing a song, well, singing a song, it depends. It varies. But poems? Well, Dario, you know me at that point. That, why to this day I'm still feel sorry for the youth. Why? Mm. I have the man to scan chat about the man but behind him. Back. Somebody writes love letters to you know. Reggie, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying a long time. This is somebody write um write a love letter. Is it, oh, that's for real. No, but not, no, but to, to, let's be real. Which man? You know, they're right, man. Apart from a man who don't really care about what people think, or really go, go to them with in a Jamaica for write a love letter to one girl, when like the man, the man will, will take Jesus Christ off of the cross itself, and the man said, No, never. Because he know, he know the backlash I ain't gonna get, and, and that is very sad to me. They know, say, Yo, our society has reached a point where doing manly things. Doing things that promote love is somehow seen as gay. How the fuck does that make sense? Simply showing affection, yeah. How does that, yo? Like, I literally. But the thing is that yo, the there's a high probability, there's a high probability yeah. that the same female would laugh him to scorn as well as his fellow men. So, I mean, it's he's losing on both sides. So, why, why would you take that risk? But yet, but yet still. There are no good men left in in Jamaica. Our men are not romantic enough. They, they, they don't do a lot of things on Valentine's Day. You can't win out. You can't win out here. You can't win in our world more. You just why? <laughs> yeah, I said, I got, all right. Since on this topic, I wanted to um run something by you. So one of the reasons I realize why women don't really put a much effort into like getting men things is just how men of the past have behaved. Like I was watching Minister Louis Farrakhan. He was saying when he was dating a young lady, uh, he would never allow her to spend money on him and so forth. Fair enough. So, but then I, I was thinking about it. Now, when modern day men complain that for Father's Day, all they get are socks and ties and vagina. Whose fault is that? If yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Like, whose, whose fault is that, though? Or who do we blame? Or how, or rather, how can we blame women for expecting cruises, jewelry, like really expensive? material stuff and not giving us anything in return if that is the trend that was set for up by our forefathers. And are and are we wrong for wanting stuff? We're besides not, socks, ties and vagina. We are not wrong for wanting stuff you know, but here's where I draw the lines in. These same modern men who thought about how Woman not do this and woman not do that. Then I'm pretty sure somewhere down the line when you were aka macho man, you thought about how you don't want a girl to spend no money for me because me if you have to take care of because that's your sense of responsibility. Mm -hmm. You notice most of them are thought about we want we need a 50-50 relationship. Yeah. So when the 50-50 relationship comes out and she fear 50 look like a 20. Who are you going to blame? Society? Yourself? She? Woman? The world may never know. But here's the thing. The generalization, Dario. The generalization. Because okay. for some reason, this... Hmm, hmm. I, don't I was just get, thinking that. I don't get why people generalize. Like, like, this is on both spectrums, Zine. 
And I'm I'm guilty of this. Spade a spade, yes. The four, the four musketeers, yes, we're not innocent. We have admitted that. Be innocent. I have that book. Dario Dawson. Dario Dawson. Dario Dawson. Please. Just, just record him. Just record him, please. Just take out the red card and show it to him. I need a second vote for the red card. Ah, Bye. Bye. So, so hold on. Uh, what's the offense before my vote? Um, he told he me a lie where he said he's innocent. So yeah, innocent. which man? Which what? one? Raji. <laughs> yeah, ready. Yeah, ready. <laughs> yeah, man, ready. Man. <laughs> no. Raji, Raji. Oh. I believe uh, anybody will oh. accept me. Yo. Bradshaw, uh, if you change your name, you're so like an innocent one. You're so like an innocent one. You're so like a man who do things that are wrong. What if you think that the man who doesn't know? He keeps on forgetting we know this much of his business. The man was good. Everything good, man. Everything good, man. You see the black part of the road that is in the middle? Raji, you're on the two sides of the street. No, I'm not for the streets in the lap. <laughs> but um yeah most of us have been guilty of generalizing females i'm sure some of us and or most of us can admit that but the same thing can be said for most females they tend to generalize that most men are dogs to that extent and we keep on going in this merry-go-round circle where we are saying we must generalize, and yet still we keep on doing it. So I I don't know if we need to have a talk with some of them, or we need to have a genuine genuine therapy session. Yes, Rajiv, we know we not you know, like therapy, but such is life. Well, I mean, anyway. I was also thinking just now, like men are not a monolith, and we not all think the same. Some of us actually want a decent. Uh, present of Father's Day, Christmas or birthdays as opposed to just as I said before, socks, ties, and vaginas. Sir, sir people who want I'm cruises still, and Walana, jewelry. Well Anna sir, Valentine's Day my wife was supposed to do something for me. Mm -hmm. Me then us, not the other we are on Rasta. So me recently I look one arm for Mother's Day. I take her out. Nice restaurant, you understand me? Spend much money. And before me spend it, I look on her and I say, I am so looking forward to Valentine's Day, your Valentine's Day. And she looked for me like, oh, you still remember that? I'm like, yes, yes, I still do. <laughs> I still don't remember. I, I am still waiting. I, I am dead ass. I am so still waiting for you. Because, you see, me tell her this, you know, I mean this. I am not going to be one of them people in this relationship with me alone. You know, she alone, and then I, I, I want, I want the memories that can come from my side of the, you know, my side. Yeah. I, I, no, I want the, like, my in in our memories. Man, there you I, remember, I remember. I uh, remember oh, a a guy I used to hang out with, like for his birthday, his girlfriend lied and said she needed some money for some emergency, and he used his because she wasn't working. She used his money. To plan him a surprise birthday party. And like when he when he found out, cause he didn't expect anything for his birthday. That's him. And she and she took the money and had the, and had like the big ass party with food and everything for him. And it's like the man was so shocked. So dumbfounded, like I don't know. as in he he I think he hid and cried. Or like he was faking it or something, but yeah, like he really appreciated that shit. Well, I'm old, so would mine. Yep. So even if it's something like that, one time. Yeah. Or what you guys think? It was it was a stupid a stupid idea of her. I mean, hmm? yeah. I mean, to be honest, how much female is going to actually go to them way for do that? No female would even have the conscious idea to even do that. And then probably take money spent on herself. Even though it was with his own money. It's a thought. It's a th we always say it's a thought that counts, you know. Brother, man. 
Why? <laughs> you see that terminology about the thought that counts. Of people don't really, really look into what it really means, you know. So, a lot of people think they don't look into what that really means. As I remember, Valentine's Day, all if you, all if you never have this word of cash, we could have spent a simple flower. That's the whole God. point of the letter. That was the whole point of the letter to show yeah, how was. far we come from, how far we be fallen out of love with one another. Shoot, I remember back in the day when you couldn't talk to girls, you used to listen to, to, to old love songs. If you, if you never could have put your words them together, you understand me? This wasn't something that... Bruh, bruh, bruh. Hey, you guys remember when we used to have Nokia phones mm -hmm. and like just pick lyrics out of songs and send to the girls they like? Yeah. I them we days in high school, bruh. Yes, you what? Like, yes, you. you have a bit of credit and you just call the girl and say, hey, babe, this is what I think about you. And put the phone up to the song. Yes. Oh, never do that. Oh. Well, every man think different, Rajiv. I say, go. What? The point me I try and make is... Rajiv, Rajiv, yeah. more sweet. It looks so. Rajiv, more sweet. Like honey know. drop in a chocolate. No, sir. Lie, you tell. Make sure I lie, you tell. Extra I believe you're Rasta. Anyway. Yeah. It's, so. Yeah. Mm. Um, I want to quote a joke by uh, this one is by Chris Rock. Only women, children, and dogs are loved unconditionally. A man is loved based on the condition that he provide something uh agreed i have to agree i'm sorry and yeah go ahead yeah i, I, I agree wholeheartedly i have to. i think <laughs> this is more so true for people with the melanin in the skin because even if we have money, but it is less than our partners, we are we are um, by their definition or, or in their eyes no longer men, or at the very least, we're not we're there. Less anymore. than a man. We're less than a man. That's the definition of it. You're less than a man. Yeah. Um. Again. In most cases, uh, some studies, study, even studies have shown with other races, regardless of what, how much a man provides or whatever, but the woman is making more, the husbands still get treated like husbands. If I make a hundred, and as a black man, if I make a hundred, and uh, more than one, usually as a, with a black wife, I, she makes a hundred and one. I'm just that 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 crop on the couch, or the crop that sits that, that that lays beside her on the bed. Honestly, that way of that that perception needs to die for both men and women, but women especially. That way of looking at your, your partners, the people, and that you see your so-called quote-unquote love. If you don't break that way of thinking, you're not going to be with anyone long term, as far as yeah. I'm concerned. Because Why is our love so so harsh, though? Because our love is everything I want us to be so, 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 so stoic. No because, no, because our love was taught through the competitive mind frame. Everything is a competition when we were growing up. Mm -hmm. From from as little as we are until Luton big people, it's always been some form of a competition, one way or another. We were never taught to communicate. We were never taught to cooperate. We were taught to compete. That's why at one point, remember, remember me so go dance. I must say, man and woman dance together. Till you reach a point where you go party, man de to one side, woman de to one side. Woman, the dance and the man, and it reach a point where the man them 
take over the, the camera altogether now. Nigga dancing, never see um, video man or video woman no more. A bugger man a dance in front of the camera. And the world man run down the cameraman. And the cameraman say, much try video two girl like them want to beat the man for, for video them. And I'm like, no, they have certain camera. I'm not a big fan on like the parties and stuff, but from the few videos I've seen, yeah, like that shit happens. I didn't, I didn't know it, it got to that point where men love the spotlight more than women did. And it's yeah. just, and, it's and, a little. And, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be judgmental or rude, but it's a little. It's, 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 it's a little gay. But then That's again. Right. I know gay dudes that are not like that. So I don't exactly. even know. I was I was about to say that because I, I know a few who yeah, when I was younger and I heard they that, don't that was tell the you they are, like, you will never like, know. If they're not telling you, you that never know. So I'm like, and even them, and I don't know why, because some as I, I've asked a question before. I'm like, yo, when when someone when, when you know guys who are gay act a certain way, you know, like flamboyant. And I'm like, honestly, not everyone will like that. Wow. Yeah, gay people that. are not a monolith, mon- a monolith either. Yeah, they aren't. Weird, they really aren't. Some of them dress in normal clothes like everybody else. Oh, no. I've been, I've worked as a bouncer or as a security at a couple of gay parties. Mm-hmm. Bro. I saw some dudes walking in, and I'm wondering if they were lost. Okay. Okay. I'm not even kidding. Sir. Did they think, I'm, all, I'm like, did they think this was a lesbian party? Like, why are you here, my nigga? <laughs> One of my co-workers. Yeah. Yeah. This was like right after, this was like a week after I caught my locks. Saw so the dude coming, like, if you see this man, meet this man, you think he has like two baby mothers six girlfriends and a couple of other side chicks i saw the man hail him up he asked about my locks i said i cut it off whatever whatever yeah, and yeah I'm sure. i was walking off and i paused and i'm like wait aren't i at a gay party why is he here <laughs> there you go why is he why do why are his friends and i'm like yo the party Man came to party, <laughs> and, and 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 I know it's all like it's all like you know, but we're only making a gist, believe it or not, people. And I'll say this for, for those of you who don't know this gay men, the, the real don't most of them can't take a joke. I don't know where this nonsense come from. G- gay men have been hey, a part of well, society, society, go on, like, say, like, like, gay society. men can't take a joke. You ever notice like, I, how the females them run up and get uh, get offended for gay men? You ever notice? You understand me? Yo, again. Social I, 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 justice I, warriors. Yes, them same one. Which is weird because I, I've, I've, I've watched shows where the gay joke drop and me laugh and them laugh. And I'm like, you found that funny? So, at that carnival and Boom Bye Bye was playing and the gays were singing along. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Anyway, anyway, this is not the topic. This is not the topic. I'm just saying. Yo, I'm just... I'm alone to realize that almost every time we reach the middle segment, we always go off track. <laughs> yeah. I'm and people have work in the morning. I realize. I have a I've client been, tomorrow. I've actually, been keeping, afternoon. I've actually been keeping like timer right here on the phone. So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, so we were saying would black, black men specifically don't get any respect. Uh, anymore. No. All right. No, remember we're saying we have to grill the men this week. Yep. Um, all right. Let it begin. There has to be a balance. Because, let's be honest, there are some worthless men out there. Yep. We have, culturally, racially, we have, uh, his, we have a line of um, deadbeat dads. 
we have no good men. We have criminals. And like women have to protect themselves. So you said something? That wasn't me. Yeah, so we do have men that would take advantage of good women. So, I mean, it may have, some women may have gone overboard to the point where they will have a good man and disrespect him simply because he makes uh, eighty dollars and they make a hundred. But uh, yeah, so they, they basically have gone to the other extreme or other the other extreme side of the uh, spectrum or the scale. But can we necessarily blame them for being that extreme when, I mean, they still have to be on their toes because you might snap or you might turn out to be like this or they have seen this or experienced this with a different person before or maybe even with their father? Well, look at it this way. For every man who's had his heart ripped out, for every man who's, ha who's been robbed, for every man who has been <laughs> done dirty, for every man who has ever truly loved a woman, and for that girl to take him for granted and destroy his life psychologically, emotionally, and mentally. If you believe all the stuff market, okay. Yeah, that's the kind of So, well, sorry about that. Yes. So, your question again, David? I just want to make sure I'm nailing everything that, you know, because somewhere along the lines, reality warped. And when women destroy, because I know, don't get me wrong, you know, bad men exist, but. How are you going to take what one man do you to justify destroying the lives of nine innocent men who never did you anything wrong? How? How does that make sense? Um, this is where, I guess, how we need to, we need to go, go, back, go back to something that we've been saying for a couple of weeks. Everybody, everybody needs therapy. We all really? have some form of trauma that we need to get over. We need to break some yes. generational curse or whatever you want to call it that yes. we need to have sorted. And I feel as soon as this generational, as soon as this this mass ther therapy session is truly had, I believe a lot of people will see better results in what they might in final life. She won't be a better wife, better side chick. Better, better man whore, better husband. The list goes on. But you see, once you have... The man said a better side chick. <laughs> yo, some people, people, be realistic here. No, no I'm not bashing it because I do have friends that just want to be designated side pieces. We don't have a call a name, but... Just, some people are bad, quite hey, comfortable you know, in the side. Well, 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 everybody have front seat appearance. Everybody have front seat appearance. I feel them style, like, you get me? Like, like, some style, people, it's not even low self esteem. Sorry, go ahead, Rajiv. I said, they want to be side man, I said, the man, but then turn out that them strive. I saw some of them make them live in Disney. But they can't see. No, can't see. Nah, and be honest with you, and I do, be honest with you, add into what you say. And everybody, and everybody, all right. And everybody, every man want to be engineer until him see what engineers have to do. But then, does, him then again, you can't, do, you can't do argue the people that they want to be side man or side woman. You, know? you have to argue the people that have them woman and then. But then there you go. That's it. And, and, and the there road. You get me? That's it. I mean, and, 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 and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. For woman, fine man, 
catch woman in a them house with them man and beat the woman. That doesn't make no sense. Beat the man. Beat the ass, man. Beat out him dirty ass. Beat out him crap. Beat out him shit. Them two of them still. What? Yeah. Me say, I wouldn't put a hand. If I was that woman, I wouldn't put a hand on the girl. May I help her take up her things and go. Oh my God, when I done with you, you know that. I'm just saying. So, unless the woman, unless the woman are a friend or a sister, then she can't leave that. Again, every man is one. But pay me a try me this. All that, that's something all that old fufu stigma should have changed. Why would you be the person who he cheated with? It would be the person who cheated on you, not the person who cheated with. They are the same my son there as far as I'm so concerned. So what if they cheated on you with a friend? Both of them will burn in hell. <laughs> you thought about that one? Hmm? Ah. Wow. Yes. That was a good laugh. Um, <laughs> that came from the chest. <laughs> too bad, too bad, too, too bad we can't see it because your camera has been frozen for the last what several minutes? I know it's it's gone more than a few minutes. You know, so the seat, I'm in the So you've been looking down, you've been looking down for like almost 15 minutes. Exactly. No anyway, I'm gonna take. The monarch, the monarch, you know who the candidate is. Ready, ready. What me, why are you doing? Why are you, yeah, red card? We need to right, fix your camera because you need to give the man a red card for that. Let's go. I heard somebody's red card. I didn't, I was, I didn't hear it clearly. Good, good, good. good Raji, Raji, you need a red card. Can you say my text? Again? Yes. I'm going to do not be here. Once in a while, you have to fix your camera now. Turn it on, I turn it off or something. Hey, once in a year, I'm saying can't read can. Yo, so, yo me, I am the witness, sir. Leave Stop in the heart, the red card. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but, uh, okay, so. So the next thing I wanted to um, put forward to you guys. So we've been talking about how women have become more masculine or less feminine or more stoic. One of the uh, reasons for that is because we have a lack of masculinity or a lack of decent men within our cultures in Jamaica, uh, in the US, um, well, so we have a lack of men, we we'll have a lack of father figures, or a lack of decent men or decent fathers, father figures. And as a result, women had to become more masculine, or more stoic, to, um, how, how can I put this kind of, balance that kind of just to kind of balance themselves or just to kind of get through the world or get get through life especially as black people i mean we do have depending on where you grow you can be experienced you can experience a lot more discrimination a lot more hardship a lot and like emotionally psychologically you just have to be a lot stronger and to not have a strong pillar or a strong male figure to support you and to have to build your own backbone as opposed to have one provided for you in, in the form of a strong male figure. I mean, that's what they had to do. So, I mean, we can't necessarily just bash women, the women who have done this because it's a survival mechanism it's not something that they had it they just drew up the blueprints for and said hey this is the kind of woman we want to be in 2021 let's work towards it for no sensible reason 
So, I mean, how do you think men can, I guess, help with that or cope with that, specifically with uh, black people as a race? Guys, Never hear that now, yo. Never Never hear. Hear. Okay, wait, you hear me? Repeat. Alright, so which I will try to write quickly. <clears throat> so we have women mm -hmm. in our culture that are more stoic and more masculine mm -hmm. because they did not have a father or a father figure or a decent father figure um, mm -hmm. which they could rely on and to help build them up and to you know help make them emotionally mentally psychologically strong and as mm -hmm. a result they had to be their own backbone they had to uh, yeah they had to, they had to change their mindsets to be more masculine or mm -hmm. more stoic so as a result of this survival mechanism that our black women a lot of our black women have developed how do you think we as men or as black men specifically can cope can learn to cope and work with or around this or what can we do to alleviate this, or what could you say to a black woman? All right, let's let's let's, let's start with how we be, how we could work with it, as opposed to allevi alleviating it, any uh, alleviating the issues. If we were to live with it, if we were to work with it, we would look at it or that kind of woman as a bro. That's a problem for most women, because men. Don't marry bros. We call it, we call it bros. We hang out with bros. Sure, we'll do things with bros, but we won't marry a bro. So the more masculine, more straightforward, more direct chick. And and I will say this too. Yeah, more the more. The women I've met who have been direct, they come off more than just being masculine. Hell, they come off like they want to prove that they're more manly than me. So I'm like... When you said direct? Direct. Direct as in the way how she expresses herself. So if she was shooting her shot and she was direct, that would be a turn off? Not necessarily. Sometimes it's how you. But I mean, I, I realize it. It can be for some men. Yes. Honestly, it's sometimes how it comes across. Sometimes how you how you should to probably say it. Yeah, that's what right. 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 What you say? No. Say. I'm saying she can shoot her shot, you know. You know, sometimes it's how it come across. Because I've been spoken to. Because yeah. I've spoken to my wife already, and I'm like, you know, so sometimes. It's not what you say cause me a feeling a little unnecessary argument. It's how you deliver the message. Because when she calm down and she say it over, and I'm like, you know, if you did say it that way, exact same way, just express it. If you did say that first, you'd get a completely different reaction from me. Tone is important. And this is something where most masculine women can't get around. You have to know how to talk to a man. And this is what I'm going to say. Femininity to a masculine man. We, well, is, I'm just being honest. As you said that, it's actually, it, I'm, I'm looking at it from a different way. Like, it's actually mm -hmm. a unique skill. Or you, we could go as far to say a power that certain women possess. And this is how you can even influence your man. This is how you can stroke his ego. This is how 
this is this is how you get the diamonds. This is how you get the jewels. This is how you get the the, 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 the hotel vacation. Thank you. Just because, not even for your birthday, like just because. Thank you. Like and it's it's I've it's an actual this, power. I've been explaining this to women from there, Jamaica. I say contrary to what you may think, TV tell you, you know you get, you know how you get what you want from a man. <coughs> Stroke his ego, not, not his penis, <laughs> not, not his legs, not his shoulders, his ego. And for all of those dumb feminists, and I'm talking the dumb ones, because some of them, some of them are completely lost. Let's talk about the last one. So them, for those who don't listen, don't listen them. You want to keep a man? If you truly want to keep that man, no matter how you hear him cussing him, he will always remember that seems to them say with a dog, and I'm not trying to attach men and dog to, but black men are the most race loyal and it's been proven. More black men actually want to be with black women. Still, even though they might push for the date out and they would want to embrace a woman. We still want our black women. If anything were to happen to my wife, and God, please don't let it happen. But if, God forbid, something happened to her, I marry another black woman. But I'm not shallow. We wouldn't say that to somebody else of a different race who says, if Ahmed say, I'm going to marry another woman from where I'm from. You don't shun him and look down on him. Oh, you're not trying to. You're just stuck in your old ways. No, oh, it's culture. It's the but, norm. But it's the norm. If, if them grew up a certain way, they have to grow up a certain way. As people say, if they, they, they can eat all of you, so you have to pick your partner right. And you have to know what to do. And again, this is something most people don't understand. Feminism trick women to believe say, as long as she does on her path, do what she wants to do, everything will just come in with what she wants. And yet, if you ask them to point out any good feminist who married, I mean, real one then. Not, 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 the, not the one who married beta males, but the one who married alphas. When, when they leave, most of these feminists don't even want beta males. You understand me? And th- th- that's a clash. That that's a clash. That's the part, Mario. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Tear down. All the studies have actually shown it. It's another yeah, reason why even female psychologists who have done research have literally said out of their own mouths, women don't know what they want. <sighs> Yeah, but it's we'll one of the many reasons, not the only reason, just yeah, one. Yeah, man, don't he? You call him, hold on, you call him, man, you call alpha toxic because they, 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 they're womanizers, but at the same time, the beta male, the one that you help create, you yourself don't even like him. Make that make sense. And, and there are people, hell bent, are trying to teach little boys. That their nature, the masculine nature, that even if you left them to themselves, no outside interaction, no no TV, no media, like nature, kids, if left to their own, will choose what they like. Boys that actually like reminds me. Trucks, girls like toys and teddy bears and soft things, girly things. It's called girly fear reason because men don't do that. Oh my God! I'm not trying to. That's what God make way. On that this same is... topic, mm. I ju- we just mentioned. It actually reminds me of a meme I saw. It was it's actually a screenshot of a tweet a where a guy said, um, "I don't date women my own age. Y'all already stuck in your ways. Need me a 21 to 24 year old up and comer." who can help run my kingdom. And a woman, a uh, young lady replied, that means you want to groom a woman because the ones your age won't allow you to manipulate them. And she said, he, he should say it with your chest, say it with his chest. So I'm like, she could be right, but at the same time, she could be wrong. 
because I mean, by the time you reach, if if again, if you are an alpha female, by the time you reach thirty, you genuinely are stuck in your ways. Two bulls can't reign in one pen, as we say in Jamaica. So why is he going to want someone who wants to try and run his show? It wouldn't. It wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't be be a set a proper partnership. So would he be wrong in getting a woman who can actually submit? Not a woman who he can control. Not a woman who he can bitch around, but someone who can submit and work with him, but, but not over him. Why would he? Because do it that? all depends on the type of man that he is, or what his true intentions actually are. If if in prefer female that is submissive, but actually work equally with him, and in kind of female like that, why not? Huh? Yeah. Sorry, what? That, are the, that are the kind of female you want. Is the female not up to that, then make it clear, say, oh, this is not my thing. Don't pretend. And then in the long run, when the shit is the point, the, the blame I go on, which I drop on the money, I go say, oh, you control it, whatever, whatever, whatever. You get me? So, if enough people say don't no, feed me not see him, me not me not cheat him or go wrong. I don't think he is wrong in a in a situation like that. He can explain himself the right way. Sorry, I didn't hear that. No, I said he can explain himself the right way to the females when oh, me not think him or go wrong. I don't think he's wrong in a situation like that. Okay. Yeah, I would say I agree. Exactly, what? but don't pretend, don't pretend like you want it, and then in the long run, it's not something you want. You just probably the person pay, pay because it's gonna benefit you. You know what I say? Be honest. And just let them know, say, oh, this is what I want. If you don't, if you if you are not for that life, then move on to the next person. There's a whole heap of fish in the sea. Go on the side chick or side man, then you know, but don't waste your time. Here's my view on it. Yep. All right. And which kind of leads us into the following topics. So we're looking at the submission and control aspect. Uh, all right, so I wanted to give you a bit of context first. So looking at the US specifically, and how the black man became irrelevant to the black woman or rather the black household. So I'm not sure if most of you guys knew this, but up until a couple of decades ago, we had the highest uh, marriage rate, especially in the US. I think it was like 80 percent or 80 something percent marriage for black people. Um, it started to drastically decrease. I think it was the 1960s, 1970s. Um, so this was due to a number of factors. So one, mass incarceration of black men, especially in the South. <laughs> Um, you know, black man could be locked up for basically nothing. Uh, it was harder. Mm -hmm. It was harder for a man to get a job after leaving prison. Um, it was. It was also around the time when crack cocaine 
was introduced to black communities, to red line communities. Um, so a black man coming from prison can't, wouldn't be able to get a job. And the only thing that would be there to do is crack. So he, he's either be, be, be using the crack to kind of soothe his sorrows and you know, master depression, or he will be selling the crack to provide for his family. Um, in terms of pooling, it was also harder for, for us to, to get jobs because they took away certain pro programs or certain courses like plumbing, uh, electrical work, metal work, woodwork, uh, auto mechanics, these skilled skill labor jobs. And would force us to like go after degrees and stuff, psychology, marketing, etc. Sorry, he was asking something. No, it's okay. Okay, so yeah, so they would force us to go after degrees that may that doesn't that don't guarantee your jobs, and may or may not uh, be useful in the long run. But I mean carpentry, plumbing, mason work, like auto mechanics, you will quite literally never be unemployed. Um, especially if you're actually good at your craft. But yeah, because I mean, even Dr. Umar Johnson pointed this out. They, they removed these things from the school. So uh, again, especially if you're from, if you, if you went through the prison system and even with a degree, it's 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 more useless to you now than it was before you went in. And I mean, there were also things like uh, what's the, what's the food stamp program in the US called again? Welfare. So women could get welfare, yeah. but they could not have a man in the house. So it's like they're literally telling the women, get rid of the man and the government will, will take care of you. And they are getting money for each and every child, I think, plus themselves. And yeah, it was, it was, and plus how feminism was being skewed to tell women that men are the problem and men are the source of oppression and men are like all of this. I didn't. I, I mean, I, I, tell, I told the guys last week we're gonna have to like talk about race a bit, but all of this culminated and put together. It's one of the reasons why black men became irrelevant to the black family, to the black household. Uh, the, uh, yeah, so there's a black family structure, and. Wow, this is, I mean, I've heard Dr. Umar Johnson talk about this on, on, on numerous occasions and a couple of other people, but to actually be saying it now and really thinking about it, this, this is some deep psychological effed up shit. And as a result of that, we have either no men or crappy men within a lot of black societies or black communities. I mean, different things, some, some different things might have happened in like Jamaica and other black black countries mm -hmm. that they used to um, fuck us up. Because I mean, crack cocaine wasn't popular in Jamaica. To it was it. here though. It was here. Have, it's here though. It's here, it's in, it's in JA. But, uh, but that's not necessarily what they used to destroy Jamaica or keep Jamaica down or Haiti or so forth. Um, but like, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a whole heap of shit. Like all, like all the conspiracy theories that we heard, that we knew, that we heard about as kids, they weren't really conspiracies. <laughs> they were pretty true. Um, but yeah, like a whole heap of shit went into destroying the black power base, as Dr. Umar Johnson would call it, which is the black family. So again, we would have a lot of shitty men. And 
or no men whatsoever. Yeah. And going back to what we said about women being more stoic or more masculine, or women even having what well, we would consider to them having low self-esteem because they only date shitty men or only want shitty men. I know, it's I know really it's because this is what they are used to, it's what they've seen, it's what they've experienced, and they genuinely don't know any better. So and, they kind of just mm. adapted and took what they were left with. Mm. And well, no, it's, it's becoming like a never-ending cycle where we have shitty men and women and sh- growing up shitty kids, shitty women, and yeah, like pro- producing more shitty kids. And it's just yeah, 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 like yeah, a one-off person who can think for themselves. Try or a few people, a few families who stay together, um, building strong people who can uh, like give back or teach or or just do better. So, uh, um, go ahead. yeah, go go ahead. I'm tired. I'm I'm, I'm mm-hmm. sad. Good for you. Uh, my views as it relates to what you just said. Yes. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. And and I have to be fair. Some of what you've said, you are correct. You know. And no matter how much I like it, some people that think, oh, because some of them don't want to talk. A woman at work tell me, say, my sound like me eight woman. I said, no. No, I don't. But why would you think that? Tell me one thing I say out of my mouth. Make me sound like me eight woman to you. She laughed. <laughs> you know, you listen on you know, this. Oh, yeah, I see. You say, so I'm going here, not the message. Something doesn't sound right. Well, you were just talking about tones, so. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, um, from our, my, my views on all of this, right? Parents, even though no, this is again, I'm turning this into a blaming match, really don't change the outcome that we're facing right now. Because yes. I, I could do the, 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 the school book um, route and go, well, blame the mother, blame the father for not being here. Keep That's a, yeah. I wasn't making an excuse, just kind of giving an explanation rather. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anywho, sorry about that. But the point I was trying to make is um oh yeah, um my point is what was I saying again? You didn't start saying it, so I can't even say. There you go. Yeah, I, I, my head is I feel like we got at least a paragraph already. But, <laughs> but I think a lot, anyways. Um, I said, like I said, I, I can go the the school book way and blame the, the parents, blame. But I said, push come shove. It's already at our doorsteps. It's not like say you know. It's a theory no more. It's real now. So, I would say the parents and the people who are actually proactive with wanting to change the narrative. So those who actually know better. Yes, because there's, there's a lot that still exists. Well, because the whole society has shifted. There's a lot of grown old, big women, when I say old women, a lot of matured ladies out there who see young people behaving and acting a fool, but don't keep quiet because of social warriors, social justice warriors, and a man of PC nonsense. Listen to me. I, I used to watch when my mother used to warn my, my, da- my daughter and my sisters. 
Watch your weight. Watch your weight. This was in the 90s. You understand me? So, and, and they understood what she was implying because, you know, if them gain too much weight, potentially their men might leave them. And I'm stupefied now when, when this same conversation has had no ideas. You're bashing women. What? My mother used to, my mother used to tell my sister, say, yo, go easy upon the dumpling them, you know? You don't want to be putting on anymore, you know? And she understood the message. Men on the other hand, my mother could care less because you're a man. And I know that sounds sexist, but the point is men consume more food because we burn more energy, because we do more. We work longer hours. And I think this whole feminist feministic thing, trying to scare something that was never naturally, it was never natural to begin with. Women don't like, yo, I have coworkers that have to leave by 1.30. And if the boss even put in half an hour more upon the time, and a tree tried to me leaving a whole two hours after, and you want to hear the big woman them complain for the half an hour more than for do. What? <laughs> Equality, you say. <laughs> oh my God. You want to hear the big woman? Them 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 want them equality when it's the manager. If it's not been if them, them don't want it. You understand me? It's, 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 like a spoil, it's like a spoiled child in a, in a store. Have ties in her hand, have ties in her pocket, have ties in her clothes. But you see her next tie, she want that one day. And they tell us, well, maybe you have five ties already. No, 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 we want that one day, we want that one day. If she don't have her way, she start create a fool, act a fool. And there's that feminism devolve into devolve into. That's what yeah, feminism yeah. to me devolved into. Excellent <laughs> children. Remember oh, focusing on the men today. Mm -hmm. You're saying? Yeah, you you win the you you win the oh I was saying well, what the men need to do to be better. Of course, and and also that's another thing too. But the problem is, isn't it? Uh, men, men, believe it or not, men are quicker to fall into the gap when it comes to certain things. You see, the problem is not, this. Not, not all of it. All of it. Again, some. The problem is. Yeah, so. Problem is guidance. Believe it or not. Men, men solution way easier than than men. Let me show how easy it is, right? A child who's never had a father, father or father figure. Though we and me do this already. I mean, though we have the conversation already. Though we say, I'm go take and save you and um, rugby team and little boys. Um, Wait, you went, your, your volume went down. Oh, I said, when do we do um, rugby, I save you. And how the kids and the, the boy them look upon him as a father figure. It touched me because the same thing reached me with karate when I was teaching in my neighborhood. I invited all the kids and a majority, and these kids, quote unquote, are fathers, you know. <laughs> That's the sperm donors. And them man say hello or hi, I buy him, son. Oh, you know, come out of the yard now. I'm going on the road. That, 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 that's pretty much it for some of them. Yeah, so if they don't have no if they don't have nobody where they where they can look up to or somebody where a teacher where a kid, they might go to the next best person. So that person yeah. they probably be somebody where nah they're not good, but guess what? They might give them the attention where they need, they might look up to them, they might follow up for them footsteps. And this and this is what I'm bullying, but this is the thing I mean I try to explain to to some women. We say the role models that's not choose me who the role on a son to dictate the kind of way how I approach women, how I approach relationships. If if your son every day say you 
Sean the nerd. Him there in the next room while the bad boy beat out your back. And two, three days later, him here up on the phone and cuss him off. Cuss him with my crop and him had... But two days later, he buck up with the next one again. Same routine. Beat out your back. So I get up on the phone and go and say, well, we have some money, we have some money. But Tom, Harry, and the one of them nice people out there who are going somewhere, who are they achieve something boring. You're boring, gentlemen. That's how most modern women view progressive men. We are boring because we don't get up and feel like we need to throw on Louis V or Gucci. And the funny thing, you know, Richest of the men, ladies, for those of you who think that love and hip hop is telling them the truth, no, it's not. Real millionaires don't dress up like that. Some do, but we're talking about quote unquote good men millionaire. A man who have him head on his shoulders. Don't don't need fit. Don't need fit to look, wear red look at, look at. to show them have money. Look at it doesn't work. Yes, in um, Bill Gates. Look on oh, the yeah. one there. You see oh, them yeah. managers? The managers, them, <laughs> them, them, them two boom. dollar shirts and three dollar pants. You get me them money now in a bag of thousand dollars, uh, three thousand dollars clothes. What are you let, let me show you. Let me show you how many know say Bill Gates is a madman. Bill Gates, I think, was in the States. And Bill Gates step out time here in a regular clothes. Walking at 7 Eleven, buy where my buy sit back in and care, and nobody, nobody that I'm right man couldn't believe a Bill Gates. I just walk in there. Nobody couldn't believe it. And when they slowed down the camera, I went to go the phone to record, I couldn't believe it. It was Bill Gates. But what? If you look on Bill Gates, Bill Gates clothes them loose fitting, simple looking clothes. And you don't ever believe a multi billionaire just step into 7 Eleven. I walk the back in the MKR. Mark Cuban are the same thing. So, so we are calling man the clone to Mark Cuban, a billionaire. So, again, people practice, yeah. people practice different, you know. So, then I push this thing where I say, all right, we have to be a bag of jewelry on one neck, but they're the richest set of clothes. So when we are walking out, just up everything for us, it's just add up to so much of much money, which is foolishness. Just Talent cap. Look on the baby. Even though I don't really want to go that down the road here. Yeah. Look on the baby. The entertainer, the baby. His baby mama and him current girl, I mean, him girl make a, make a video dressed up like Marilyn Monroe because light skinned it. Almost to the complexion of white and black media Russia. Dark skin girls Russia. Before she, before she do. And the baby just kept quiet. The baby kept exactly. Quiet. Don't say a word to this woman. Disrespect the mother of his children. Look how watch the light skin this. Are you serious? That is sad. That is true, sir. As we said, people price is different and more well in a little sense. But well on, well on, but well on. Even 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 when man who own preaching the same message, when them bring broadcast a message, them get attacked for it. When I tell you said the same thing about colorism. Man, 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 they were there because she look good. I know this girl can't even cook good, but no, no, she look good to the point where she look good making man. Gentlemen, I, I, I've watched men in front of their mother making girlfriend disrespect his mother in front of them. When the mother is on for box on the girlfriend, the man catch a mother hand. I almost lost my mind. Mark you, this is not a case where the mother passed her place and she hands her back. No. This girl was irritated because him not get she enough time and not focus on the mother. And I just said, come, 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 we need for going on. What's it? Man, mother say, I have a weird. May I talk to my son? And 
And she must have said some pasty remark. And homie folded. Homie folded. Homie should have acted on homie. <laughs> homie chose the side of the girl. Oh, my mother. I tell, I tell everybody this. And I said this here. The day I hear that man commit suicide, boom, surprise me. Morning, no surprise. I, I, I will feel I will feel away. So Jenna drop out. But brother man, when a woman have the power to make you cut off your own family, friends from childhood, you move from where you live and live where she live. None of your friend them. So if anything they are reach you, you can't say nothing to nobody can work. You chop off all your friend them. So now you're literally right where she wants you. And you know your mind that somehow was a wise move. Right now, independent for her. Independent for her. Independent for her. Let, 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 let me fix that statement. Independent for her, yeah. She is dependent on him. She's already a nurse, sir. And this man are the this man are the spending money and help her push her to school. I said, dear him or catch she or do something with any other man. If him don't kill her and kill himself, i kill himself. Dead, them dead, dead. I do apologize for being so sorry. No, no problem. I wonder if I sleep. I'm going to sleep, but I had to jump in. Right, as Bracha was talking about the disrespecting of the mother. So, so the Bible wants honor your mother and father so your days may be long upon the earth. Right now, right now, dude, right now, dude, only one year younger than me. And dude looks like him 44. Come yeah, on. Typical. Every picture I do take on Facebook, dude look like him asleep. <laughs> Tired. <laughs> Tired. Every picture, she has smile in him smart. I had him half shot, so. Right now, my regret, my regret, every decision we make before. Everything oh, going on. Yeah. We can't, we can't no, dark side stream. <laughs> dark side stream on Twitch. I'm going to try, try some, try some now. <laughs> Paradise look like it's slowly, but surely I crash around him now. He need an escape. Good luck. <laughs> you an idiot. Good luck. That's a good yeah, man. And well, I know. Let this be known, man or woman, and I hope anybody who watches this podcast don't think that I'm saying this because I'm bitter towards anybody. But you see, when any human being make you throw away your sanctity, your own peace of mind, they make listen to me say, they made you choose between everything that you know and love for them. Run. Don't even try to understand what they might try to run. That person's a narcissist. <laughs> like a certain... <laughs> no, I'm not that bad. I've never been that bad. Bracha, Bracha, Bracha. Yeah, you know what I'm talking No, exactly. So, so I don't know what, what, you, what, you, you want me to come and say, I love you, Dario, and that, and that's why you're getting your feelings. Sir. Eh? I know you may have talked about Dario. Sure. Uh, and if I'm talking about who you're talking about. <coughs> Megan, the prince, sorry. Yeah. If, you're, you're, you're built for the streets. You're, 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 that, you're bad, but you're not that bad. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, good. <laughs> but I really, um, the, 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 the miss, miss I can do no wrong who the entire world feel like say, she can't match and me and Bracha oh, really are throw word for. She's, really she's, she's getting a talk show. Now that they've moved to the States, she's getting a talk show. And she's getting a show now. Oh, oh, so she's getting a talk show while the man who was literally royalty has to settle for marketing jobs. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Through his army career and everything. Yes. Through it all away. I think we all, yo, I think we all need to say it. Harry, if you're listening, if you if you still have a semblance of any form of self-belief in yourself, ask Kevin 
KSOC. Bitch, run! Run! Bitch, run! You, you say that wrong way, but yeah, yeah, we get it. Run, bitch, run! <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, when I walk out, I'm not gonna comment on that because I don't know the full situation. The video oh. that Scratcher sent in the group. If you had watched it, you'd understand why we really have oh, to. Oh, you watched it, sir. Because everything that was said in that video, everything said in that video. I I I, I identified, and every trait. I was I'm like, wow. This is a master at work. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I've met my fair share of narcissists, women and men narcissists. Yeah, I've met both. Shoot. I've dealt with both. It's, it's, it's not a, no matter how cute and petite the vice sound, narcissists are narcissists. And as soon as they can't get them away, they're miserable. And if you dear, dear Christa criticize them, You have it all anyway. wrong. I have it all wrong. That person can do no wrong. That's dangerous. Sure, one time I asked a narcissist, what happened in our relationship? It's all a man, all of us. I see a person, I said, throughout your whole marriage, you've done absolutely nothing wrong. And, and, and nothing, and even one mistake. No, 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 the man, the man. No, that's not real. That's not real. Nowhere in society that real. Even the marriage is in the last 30, 40 years. You know what dark secrets and ills the two of them do each other? Well, you don't know that. Because that's what is behind what? Closed doors. That's supposed to stay behind closed doors. That's the whole premise of it. Grown folks business. That, that's why that term came along. Grown folks business. Hit me, teenager. Other people not feeling a grown folks business. Anything else we need to cover, um, Dario? Ah, uh, well. Not right now, but uh, so in the end, we just I just wanted to say closing remark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What we need to find uh, middle ground. Yes. Men need to be men. Yes. And feminists. That it needs to be abolished or make up their mind and actually stand for something sensible. Feminists need like to, like predominantly something sensible. Feminists need to do something that men and most sensible women tend to do when they know they're talking shit. Shut the fuck up and use your ears to listen. Because if you think you're right all the time, that's why people don't like you. That's why people don't like the majority of you. And this doesn't go for feminists alone. SJW. And trust me, the way I speak about SJW, you think I would want all of them to go and burn on the stake. I really don't. But their beliefs and their notions are ridiculous. But anyway, you guys need to listen and stop thinking that everything must be, must be beneficial. As a matter of fact, stop thinking you're going to get your own way. That's a bullshit way of thinking. Yeah, yes it is, unfortunately. You can't you can't dictate you can't dictate something you never built. You can't dictate something that you never you you have no idea how, how it even work. Well you ever try to tell people say you for just get it. Well you don't even know if you run it but you want it. Are you serious? Ridiculous. You don't even know how you, you don't even know how how to maintain it, let alone run it. But you want it still. And and, and, and before I even make, make, make this about um me bashing females alone, I can't even say this. You see the man then. Especially a man in Mount Jamaica. 
it is, it is this notion where we have gotten to the point in our society where things we used to do to pledge our love for women that we thought and wanted, we have to cut it out. See? Because I don't know for the life of me how on God's great earth. Writing a poem or, or singing a song can be seen as gay. That just a proof to me say you don't even know the definition of the word. And that is bad because me is a man who, that will embarrass you with, with being how intelligent I am. Because how song can How? You are singing a song to a woman and that is gay? Like, what, the, what kind of backwards are thinking is that? I mean, if this is simple, I can understand, but if they go as far as gay... Brother, like, man, if, uh, if, if there's a simp, it still wouldn't make no sense, because we all know what simping really is. Like, we're, we're in a Steve Harvey. Mm-hmm. See? It's not simping. Because I'm pretty sure, say, we when some man shot a boy, you're more of a married one day. Yeah. When we call that simping now, they are quickly defend and say, oh, no, I just become lover, blah, blah, blah. So how is it any different for any other man? That's a problem. Because you know, when mankind want to do what they want to do, them, them pretty up the ugly truths what them subscribe to, then change the name then. Because a woman can't want what she wants. Or yet you're going to attack anime and say the women them are overly sex um uh, 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 well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, Fem- feminists uh, went after enemies you know and attacking so the, the girls look too overly sexualized but yet the same men same men chisel the hubs is aren't they being sexualized it's like an impossible standard but you don't have a problem with that you want that but the women have curvy waists and big boobs and uh, around posterior, so, you know. Let, it's, uh, let us put, put slim, that this. Slim, let, good let us put this to bed. You see, anybody out there, male or female, who has ever said, um, anime female characters are over sexualized. Take a shuffle, get some cement, bury yourself, please, because. You are absolutely stupid to think that. You are terribly human. I know. I know. You're being I know I am. over fictional characters. I know I am, Bradshaw. I know I am. But the money, they're themselves for real. But honestly, but am I wrong in saying that? Because if you're going to look at me, like, all right, women want equality so much. So when you see a strong female character make it even worse if she's a main character and she has, she's sexual she's very sexy and she has nice boobs and she yeah, has sexualized for, for two decades right? hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. a problem? I'm gonna get that I'm gonna yes, I'll, I'll have a problem with that then you have to go watch you do a feeler and then come talk to me Girl sexualized Sasuke Uchiha for two decades. No, 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 no. Let's not even go there. <laughs> no, remember, uh, for those who watch Inuyasha, you know, remember Sesho Maru, Inuyasha's older brother? Yeah. Let me, uh, yes. Well, Anna, let me give you a more modern, modern eye candy. Girl sexualized Christian Grey from Fifty Shades. Well, Anna, do you, do you know, do you know, um, uh, Madoria from. Um, my hero academia Luku Midoriya? yeah 14 years old and you want to see the things about the girl and right about the man pan with cartoons you know with him with him with the, with the bomb on them and, and the ice one and he's this is the one but it's oh, the this is for one better stuff if you read us if you read us if you read us if you read us and then, then somebody that's that's good one. You know they're 14, right? Huh? Yes. Yeah. You're drooling over a 14-year-old child. But it's a cartoon. It's... Same thing you flip over, over the girl. Um, it's a cartoon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Same. Th- that's what you see? It's but I don't get it, though. Like, if I drool over 
a real woman. I'm a pervert. Hey. I'm a, if I drool over fake women, it's the same thing. So no. I should just drool over men or just like you not drool over Wonder Woman? You're, you're I should become pig. asexual. Well, Anna, if you drool over Wonder Woman, you're a sexist pig. But if them drool over Captain America, oh, she's just hot. Well, Bradshaw, to be fair, I don't think any man this day is going to ever drool over Wonder Woman, considering we all know why the Amazons were made. <coughs> hint, hint. And yet, men still want her. Yeah, yeah, this is right. Yeah, them and kill them afterwards. Yep. Exactly. And just use them for everything. Exactly. But yet, yeah, still. Snow. But yet, but yet still. This Marvel is such a bad thing. Well, I like her. I like her. I like her. Not like her, but the constant hate just makes no sense to me. Anyway. Anyway, yo, as a race, like we black people have a lot of ground to cover. We have a lot to make up for, like literal centuries to make up for. Yep. We have a lot of work to do to better ourselves as individuals, to better ourselves as a people. Um. Globally. Yeah, it's, it's 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 a lot. Like, and I've been seeing this beef or supposed beef, alleged beef between Dr. Umar Johnson and Kevin Samuels. The messed up part is they're both right in what they're saying. Explain. Dr. Umar Johnson only speaks about empowerment as black people. Mm -hmm. Kevin Samuels speaks about just being better as an individual. Uh, I've listened to what he said, like, I can't find anything that is sexist about it. He grills men and women to the, to the same exact degree. To he watch take his earlier from videos men or women. I can't, I can't, I can't. If I'm being honest, I can't. If I'm being biased, I can say Kevin Samuels is an ass. If I'm being honest, that then he's not. Brother, the key point I say, people need to watch the videos and when Kevin never saw quote unquote hot, as in he never have the fiery personality. People need to see them video there. My old, the man you, my old. Go, people need to find them video there and watch them. The man used to deal with the no, man. The thing is that I think yeah. even some of the women, who, like a lot of women have reviewed his videos and are cussing him out. But the thing is that they can't really find any actual faults. They can just make up things and say like, oh, he must be gay. Or where is his wife? What? what does, so what? All right. Since as we go by the like, analogy, hold on, hold on, hold on. Since as we go by the analogy, then, see, for the man who watch football, the Cristiano Ronaldo supposed wife there. Hmm? We know he didn't eat a Ronaldo for a run down that door, but the look for comes and call out, call out Kevin Simmons, who is a black male, where he wife there. Oh, he's gay, so that must be a problem. Really? His ex wife. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, because. Because they just, the man, the man literally has the settings I don't like here. So guess what? Them I got settings for him. No, the man has to tell them the, the truth it. and they don't like here. No, here's the thing. I don't have a friend if they want to do like what he's saying, you know, because that is always going to be a given. But you see, when you are propagating nonsense, that is where I draw the line. What does him being a gay man have to do with him speaking the truth about individuals? What does him having an ex-wife who is probably about him? Have to do with what he's right, look at it this way. If a madman saves you from drowning, is he less of a hero than a police officer? Than if, the, than if a police officer, police officer, or lifeguard saved you? No. So why is it that if one person speaks the truth, it's different from a different person speaking the truth? Good question. 
Well, gentlemen, we have uh, the, the, the time has stopped, so yeah. For us to sign off. Uh, so Doc, just run through the, the handles, please, and we'll sign off. All right, so we have come to the end of another episode, ladies and gentlemen. It wasn't as energy and jam packed, but we still got our point across. We do thank everyone for listening. We will try to get some females that are going to push back against our points because, you know, we're in this little bubble and we seem to be having a party by ourselves. Please like, comment, and subscribe. The YouTube channel is growing. We do appreciate all the feedback we're getting. We also have our Instagram page, Facebook, Controversial Topics underscore Jamaica. And best of to the man, them. Respect is, I know it's not easy for most of you who have work and money and all these things. I don't know a little bit of sleep most of you go get. But <laughs> can you not be an asshole for once? <laughs> no. <laughs> of all the body parts that you could choose, you have to be an asshole? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> But, um, yes, um, I will tell you guys this from now. The video will be delayed. Tell this from now. The video will be delayed. Probably by a day. But, yeah, any other closing remarks, Jen? <sighs> Thanks for the support, guys. Be there. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just want to see. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Follow. I think you're the IG page. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, controversial underscore topics, J-A. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, no, no, nobody. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to say thank you again for all the support. Thank you for the likes, the comments, the subscriptions, the shares. And, uh, yeah, thank you and uh, stay awesome. All right. Vince, bless up on yourself. Take care. Have a blessed morning. Have a morning. Have a blessed morning. Have a, 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 a good, oh, good night. Good morning, <laughs> gentlemen. And goodbye. Yeah. And goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> good night. <laughs>